Hello, beautiful people. Uh, welcome back. I need to welcome myself back. Um, it has been a while since I've posted anything on this channel. And if you haven't noticed, um, over my website, my bookings are currently closed. I just want to give a really quick um, little rundown on where I've been because there have been some people reaching out asking, where are you? Are you okay? Where have you been? Are you coming back? <laughs> All that kind of stuff. So, um, this is just meant to serve as like a little update on all of that. So to give you guys a little bit of a timeline um, and kind of just overall theme of what's going, of what's been going on with me, I've been having some health issues. I'm okay, um, but there's just been some unforese unforeseen circumstances <laughs> over the past like six months uh, that I wasn't expecting. So First off, back in September, late September-ish, um, I got sick with COVID. That kind of put me down. That was a little bump in the road for me. And then in October, I actually got pregnant. I am currently, just to kind of come out the gates with this, I am currently six months pregnant, which plays a big role <laughs> in where I've been. Um, so I got pregnant and... Um, in that same time frame, I also had to have a wisdom tooth extracted. It was kind of sudden, um, and it was a procedure that I had to recover from, and it was a health thing. So kind of had that little bump in the road. And then by mid-November or so, I started to get really, really ill with pregnancy sickness. And um, there's kind of varying degrees of pregnancy sickness. For me, it was on the severe spectrum. <laughs> there's an actual medical uh, term for it. I can't remember it right now, but I had that and I wasn't expecting it. Um, and, you know, in the midst of all of that, I have client bookings and I have ideas and I have, um, I actually had a graphic designer website builder that I was working with on revamping some things. And there were some additional services that I was really excited to, um, be able to launch. And all of that kind of got put on the back burner, um, because of how ill I became. So, um, at a certain point I did decide to close my bookings. Um, I'm no longer, um, accepting clients at the moment that won't stay forever, but I just had to kind of put a halt on things. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, you know, in, in, in the mix of all of that, there was communication with, um, some of my existing clients and I had to do some things in my business that, um, I wasn't really anticipating, um, you know, as far as working with, with clients and not being able to deliver like my gold standard of what I think, um, you know, I think should, should happen with my services. So, um, if I've been taught anything over the past six months, it's that, uh, being a business owner requires fluidity and, um, grace towards myself <laughs> because I was really hard on myself, um, that I wasn't able to do things the way that I, I wanted to do them. But, um, yeah, I, uh, you know, in the midst of being kind of incapacitated, I also contracted COVID for a second time while I was pregnant. I was 16 weeks pregnant and, uh, everything's okay. I'm okay. I made a full recovery. The baby's okay, you know, according to the doctors and everything. So everything is fine there, but I was just, extremely incapacitated and I was still suffering from uh morning or morning sickness for me it was like all day all night sickness but uh pregnancy sickness so um I didn't actually start to feel well again until about 20 weeks and even then I was just really I mean, I went from walking up and down my stairs like really weak and my legs would shake and um, it was just an experience that I have never had before. Um, so I went from that to being able to at least take like a walk around my block and uh, kind of eat normal food <laughs> and stuff like that. So um, I am currently six months pregnant, which is 24 weeks. So it's only been about a month that I've been kind of on the other side of things and um yeah I wanted to just kind of sit down and let you guys know that little timeline and where I was and where I've been and that I am okay but there were just a series of health issues it was it's kind of you know I look back at it now and um 
it's got a comical kind of, I have a comical perspective on it. It's almost, it's like a drama, like you can't make this stuff up, you know? Um, but also it was real life and it, it was scary and not something that I would wish on anybody. But as a result, um, you know, obviously that played into, uh, aspects of coming on here or being available to come on here and, client bookings and how I was running my business. So, um, like I said, I decided to just temporarily close my books so that way, um, I could allow myself some time to recover and just take care of myself and the baby (laughs) because that is definitely priority number one these days. Um, so, Moving forward, what I've decided to do is actually focus a little more on creating content since that's something that I can do, um, you know, kind of around (laughs) my health, (laughs) apparently, because at this point, I have limited my expectations to nil. um, And, you know, if I'm feeling good, then it's a really, really, really good day. So... I just have no expectations there, but that allows me, uh, you know, the flexibility to be able to kind of write out my scripts and, you know, edit videos, film videos and stuff like that. So that's going to be kind of like my main focus as of right now. And then in later spring, I do want to open up my books, but they are going to be very limited slots for right now, um, just because of how the timing works out. I also don't want to like over book myself and then um, have something happen health wise. I'm just very gun shy at this point. And then obviously the delivery of the baby and the recovery after that. But um, yeah, in the meantime, if you want to be added to the um, notification list on my website, there's directions there on you know what you can do to be added um and just to let you know here you just need it's super simple just send me an email to elisa at elisaesthetic.com in the body or in the title of the email go ahead and just put um add to notification list and then in the body you can just put your name and i will add you to the notification list there won't be any sort of reply email i am getting the emails there's already been uh you know quite a few people that have contacted me they're like please add me um so you can do that and I will notify you when the books are open. So that's kind of it in a nutshell. I don't want this video to be too long. I see that I've been recording for almost nine minutes now. Um, and really, you know, I was really looking forward to um, sharing, you know, I'm not like a lifestyle vlogger or anything like that, but kind of sharing um, the pregnancy through the lens of like beauty and my wardrobe and everything and how things are changing and how my body's changing and everything. And that is just, um, that's still not something I feel like I could begin to share because all of that beauty and style and all that definitely got put on the back burner and it has just been survival mode. And now it's a little bit more of like self-care mode. Um, So I was looking forward to some things when I initially found out I was going to be embarking on this life experience of becoming a mother, but that's just not something uh, that panned out. So anyways, um, I hope you all are doing well out there and taking care of yourselves. Um, I will definitely continue to um, keep in touch via YouTube. And if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section. I'll be down there kind of, you know, responding and everything. But to those of you that reached out and were asking where I was and if I was okay, I really, really appreciate it. It did a lot for my spirit, um, when I was feeling so, so, so down, um, you know, just, mentally, emotionally, and physically through all of that. Um, cause it's, it's one thing to go through all that, but then to kind of also have looming over me, um, you know, my business and what I've built up to this point and wanting to do these things, but feeling like I'm just, I just, I can't, um, you know, is, whew, it can be a little defeating. So, Anyways, um, I'm really looking forward to caring for myself and my baby and um, also just being able to serve this community and those of you that um, support me 
uh, you know, the best that I can right now. So that is the spiel. That is what I have going on. I hope you all are doing very well out there and um, I will see you all at the next video. Bye.